Welcome back for another episode. Today I'm playing Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Medan. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is a horror game on par with uh, Until Dawn. Maybe I'll play that one for you guys later too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. the original path through the story, and the Curator's Cut is the alternate path through the story. Let's start out with uh, Curator's Cut once and see what that does. So if you're unfamiliar with Until Dawn, it's kind of in a walking adventure where you have uh, a little bit of exploration and some dialogue choices that affect what you do. Looks like maybe World War II. Or maybe a little bit after. That's one strange looking uh, room. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. <laughs> Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Heck yeah, I can fight. Okay, so that's how this works. Missed it. Ooh, almost missed that one too. Guess I'm kind of a karate master, huh? No big deal. Sure. Tell your friends about me, huh? <laughs> okay, pal. Spread some of that good fortune around. <laughs> sure. But I gotta try out Mr. Punch him up. Good luck. You, uh,. You got another quarter on you? <laughs> what do I look like? A bank? Okay, old timer. What do I got coming my way? 
，有疑问吗？ You think old Joe will ever make good on that fifty cents I just invested in him? Um, water tile, rooster tile. We'll go rooster. What do we see? I'm almost nervous to check. Well, that is a flower of some sort. Your wealth is deep in the ground. Its roots. 吸收来自于神秘起源的渗血，这种增长的唯一结果就是邪恶。衣服？ h w h a t s that supposed to mean? Hey, buddy, what the hell are you talking about? Hey, we should probably make our way back to the ship. Don't want to be the Joker's left behind. Ah, come on! I just need one more try at this sucker. Hey, gotta get back, like now. Hold him two, cargo hold two. What is that? It's not another coffin. I know those coffins were kind of arranged in a weird um, layout. Is this the same hole? I think it is. Was going splendid. Yeah, uh, you got a little water in your. Yeah. What is that stuff, anyways? Oh, it's leaking everywhere. Oh, it's turning into gas. That's not good. Okay, so this is a different hold than the other stuff. Charlie Brig, 1.36 a.m. June 22nd. Let's see here. Hey? Hello? What do 
do we got? Uh, John Coleman Ferrick, Sergeant. Uh, does that say? I can't think, see what the little fine text is. Charles Anderson, Private. Is a rank for that one? I can't really make out what the top part is. Anyways, uh, in that Private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaged with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and the steps were taken to ensure that both men were were returned to their ship. Yep. Uh, Ten? What a dick. Brig, ten days approved. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? Heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. But I wasn't done exploring. What else is in here? Brig, week 27. Monday. Arthur Miller, private. Petty theft. One day brig. Small items found belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Uh, items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis, there's a name, uh, private, trespass, two days brig, found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there, flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, PFC Lewis Brand Public Intoxication, uh, is that private first class? Uh, See public intoxication one day found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication one day brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. So there's a lot of drunken sailors. Oh, okay, here's more. Saturday, Charles Anderson, private, public intoxication. Brawling, 10 days, brig, found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Joseph Roberts, private, public intoxication. Brawling, 10 days, brig, found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Assigned to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. <laughs> okay, so it's Charles and Joseph then, huh? Yeah. Bunch of drunken soldiers. What do you do with a drunken soldier? What do you do with a drunken... Or, excuse me, sailor. What do you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Yeah, like that was really gonna budge. That sounds like, or that sounds like, that looks like something you'd probably get uh, busted for pretty bad. Can I go the other way? Doesn't look like anything I can interact with back over here. Oh, here we go. Two pops come back soon. I 
I hope that isn't pops over here. Something tells me none of these soldiers are making Poor their way fucker. home. Actually, there isn't anything I can do, is there? Nope. Sometimes you can, like, check a pocket or something. So this must be where Joseph, Joseph woke up. I think that was, I think we're Charles. Oops, wrong button. I'm trying to see if there's anything that makes me walk faster. Doesn't seem to go that way, so... Whoa. This could get kind of, uh, hard. Another one, oh. he charging at? He's like high on something. Why won't you walk that direction? Yeah, I guess it's locked anyways. Doesn't seem to be anything else I can do in there. What the hell? What was that? Yeah, you can kind of see that gassy stuff floating around on the floor now. Is it making people hallucinate? Crack. No. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that song. Did you really have to put us there looking at uh, private uh, bleeding all over the place? Jonesy for extra security detail. <laughs> At least it's not one of us. Uh, it doesn't appear to be anything this way. How about these camera angles? Never was really fond of uh, fixed camera gameplay style. Oh, there's our tip about how to walk faster. 
So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? Is that a screen door on a battleship? <laughs> if you get that reference, leave a comment. Oop, getting stuck on things. That's why I don't like the fixed camera angles. Otherwise, uh, these angles do give you some really creepy perspectives. It's like trying to shoot a movie while not being able to have any depth perception. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling alright? These guys look like they took a nap on the job. Joe, get over here. Wow. There is a lot more down here than I thought there was. Uh, he said hide, so we're gonna hide. Um, I think we're hallucinating. We're definitely hallucinating. Uh, I think we just had a heart attack. These guys are all hallucinating. They look like they're anchored. What are we on the Titanic now? Yeah, 
And this sounds like native... A little bit of a mix of native and country, I guess. I like the music. That's probably going to get me a copyright thing. Creepy. Who is he, anyways? isn't the Titanic. Has he got a huge mansion somewhere? So is he like Man of Medan? Or is that some other reference? Excuse me a moment. You've heard, I suppose, that there's been an adjustment. It's a one door closes, another opens sort of thing. Yes, the story's been told, but the truth of that story isn't fixed. Far from it. You see, a story can change a great deal when told from a uh, different perspective. A chance to turn back the clock, walk in different shoes, make fresh choices. Perhaps take a few risks this time, raise a little hell. Ah, it's probably a reference to this being the alternate. I suppose I should have did the other one first, but I figure everybody has probably YouTube the original. Alex, Duke of Milan, French Polynesia. This game tends to throw a few personality clips up there, like Brad here is witty, he's a brother, innocent. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look, I've never been down there before. Down? The water, diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Um, I guess we can always say nothing. We'll be encouraging. I almost Dude, missed it. Of course. Yeah? I'm like practically a dive master, man. But I gotta tell you, I'm tough. No special treatment. You gotta do exactly what I say. So I gotta do what you tell yep. me? Yep. So you're like my boss? Kinda, yeah. You gonna pay me? <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Al, we're gonna be the supportive kind here. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but... I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. Just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and 
Kick it? What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, because I keep <laughs> these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. Hey. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? This, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but sure. <laughs> it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Excited Julia, Conrad's sister. That must be Conrad. Yep. Uh, foolhardy, relaxed. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Gonna finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me? Wanna crack a cold one with Mischievous. Mischievous sounds about right. <laughs> I hardly even knew you were gone. As a little girl, I always dreamed that one day a man would sweep me off my feet and tell me he hardly even knew I was gone. <laughs> so, first dive, you and me? I... If you can keep up this time? Hmm. Eh, we're gonna do this. Ah, damn, Julia. I meant to tell you. What? I kind of told Brad I'd take him on the first dive. Brother thing, you know? Really? Alex? You promised. I... You know what? Fine. Whatever. <sighs> it's make bad decisions day, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just pissed her off. Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? <laughs> Impatient, uh, Fliss is her name. Courageous. She looks about ready to adjust some, uh... I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Adjust some attitudes. <laughs> uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smooth words, Conrad. Smooth words. <coughs> I don't think he's diving today. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. Landlubbers. Let's see those hot <laughs> pigs. What about over here? It's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive yet. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this. There we go. Payday. Well, hot diggity dong. Look at this. Alex! Come here! I think we got something. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julie with the camera. Looks uh, precariously perched on a ledge. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Flip! We found a plane! Yeah? 
That looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? Um, we'll support you because we're trying look, to hit on I think you got to listen to our experienced, <laughs> beautiful, smart, and beautiful captain here. If she says we should do things Connie, the right please, I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not. I, I, I'm just saying she's right, not because she's beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful. But that's like a coincidence. <laughs> Talk about captain. uncomfortable. Look, we paid for this dive. Generously, we're diving. To the client. But if anything goes wrong. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. <laughs> so, I wonder, since this is the alternate, if that means that... Uh we are controlling different characters than what we probably would have if uh, we did the other one. I keep calling it like the other one, it's theatrical versus uh, curator. Doesn't seem like there's anything out there. That must be our dive buoy over here. Or is it a fishing bobber? It was mostly submerged there. Hey. Hey, back. You patched it up with Brad yet? Not so simple. I guess he's not used to drinking, huh? Yeah, he never learns. <laughs> hey, sis. Mm hmm. There we go. So I wonder how much time has passed between the intro and this dive adventure. Hmm. I think we've gotten through everything here. Hey, Connie, how's it going? Uh, confident or reluctant? We'll go confident. Hey, uh, mind if I help you out a little? One, why are you acting so weird? And two, why are you offering to help for like the first time ever in your life? Look, I was just thinking it might make a good first impression on the lovely Fliss. Okay, now three, don't call her the, she's a person, not a thing. And four, do you ever even think about anything else? Hey, lady's got a thirst and I'm here to quench it. And what's with all the numbers? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Bro's afraid of math. And that's fine. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Nonchalant or annoyed? Hey, she's all right. She's just a bit of a stickler for the rules. The word is bitch. Hey, look, <laughs> she's not going to be down there with you. She can't stop you from doing shit. Connie, you've got to keep it in your pants around Fliss. Just cool it with all your desperate pickup bullshit. Uh, desperate? Look, I could charm the fish from the sea, sister. Just you wait. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Great, we're gonna kick back and uh, 
enjoy the sights for a little while. And by enjoy the sights, I mean I'm gonna ogle our captain like a grade A creep. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> gross. Hey, at least I'm honest. Still gross. <laughs> Uh, that part she has a point on? I... I start checking these out. Fuck yeah. Slam dunk! I do disagree with her phrasing of, it's called a, you know, the B word. I disagree with that. The other part about her brother being a little gross, yeah. I give, him, give her that one. Alright, let's go... I'll go the captain. <laughs> Please do not fondle machinery you are not equipped to understand. <laughs> you might want to just let it do its thing. Uh, I can't even turn it back on. <laughs> oh, captain, my captain. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. At least you showed me a little respect. Even if you're the only one in the group. Ah, oh, yeah. Sorry about that. My sis can be a little... Uh... Intense. intense. <laughs> uh, that's one way to put it. Mm. There are laws here. And customs. You gotta respect that. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Hey guys, thanks for ready. Oh, I got experience. In all the right places, if you catch me. Yeah, I <laughs> got it. And I tossed it back. <laughs> you don't seem to give up easily, do you? For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Yeah. We're gonna go playful. You know, you're even more intoxicating when you're angry. And I am ready to get wasted. You have literally never spoken to a woman before in your life, have you? No. Hmm. It shows. Hmm. Ow. Solid burn. At least it distracted her from the, uh... <laughs> I don't even know what you'd call it. The conflict? Conflict of interest? Felicia Dubis. Uh, Dubos? I don't know how to say it. Uh, born 10-383? Uh, there's the driver number. She's 5'8". Uh, 120 pounds. I think that's more information than we really needed to know about her. Um, is that... Okay, there's eye color, hair color, brown and brown. Uh, in the instructor identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designated specialty as sanctioned by Dive Master Federation. Expires 1231. I think this might be bogus. Oh, okay, so that was the inscription on the back side. So that's the diving instructor stuff. Why do you think it might be bogus? Can we go down and check on his bro? Well, hello. What's this? Um, that's interesting. So that's another thing that these, oops, I didn't mean to go up there, another thing that this game, ga or the games like this tend to do is uh, interact with the right object and you get some foreshadowing.
Hello, locker. What you got inside of you? Interesting. What's this now? Mm -mm. That's not what Fancy. I thought he was going to go for. Get on you, Alex. <laughs> Strikes me as something you're going to get in trouble for. Shroud of Innocence. Uh, T.S. Hartley. I'm unfamiliar with that. I wonder if that's a real book. I'm guessing it is. A must read for anyone with an interest in Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Actually, sounds like it'd be a really interesting book to read. I'm going to have to check, see if that's actually a real book. And it doesn't look like it's going to let me interact with the other doors, so let's check here. How you feeling? I shouldn't have had that beer. Cynical or relaxed? We'll go relaxed. Sweat, ready, Shack? We be hanging up top. Should you care to join? <laughs> yeah, I'll be up as soon as I <clears throat> stop puke keeping. Wow, I can't unhear that term. <laughs> no kidding. Well, he's probably as safe as he's ever going to be down here. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. Normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way out. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know <laughs> it. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh. Nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. <laughs> Looking for a first mate or cherry? <laughs> cherry. Uh, we'll go this one. Looking for a first mate, Captain? You need look no further. You just don't give up. <laughs> Are those two going in or what? Ah, uh, we'll, we'll stop the climb up a little bit. All right, kids. <laughs> Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. They're not listening. <laughs> you can tell. Shark. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> it's not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. 
Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. Ooh, there's some sharp stuff in there. Oh, that could have hurt. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. I almost uh, missed that one too. First? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Decompression sickness, maybe? Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Mm. We'll live a little. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. <laughs> gonad? Seriously? That's what Am I was I thinking. Dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. Hello. Ah, I missed it. Nope, he's here to save the day. stupid down here that's it one chance you get that yeah uh, not so sure not I'm fine see no problem searching in progress area one two and three are all clear this says it was a rescue plane launched from a US base Air Rescue Service Flight Plan. Flight Type VFR Search Mission. I wonder if I was looking for that ship out here. Aircraft is a B 29C Air Rescue. Uh, reconnaissance Plane. Uh, identification. Text Obscured. Then maybe the pilot was Kowalski. Takeoff from U.S. Air Base. Obscured. Island. Destination Obscured. They were on their way to help out a ship. Let's see what else is in here. Hmm. 20 millimeter, maybe? Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. <sighs> Didn't survive the crash. Holding something. Okay. 
Can't really make it out. Uh, wife? Girlfriend, maybe? Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Wanna go first? Dang knife. Oh, he's got a gun on him. Whoa, whoa. I think I wet my wetsuit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. <laughs> well, that could have uh, been inside that co pilot. Got tube me. plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish howdy captain you fancy a pint with your second in command you are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Oh, let's see. Let's go with relaxed. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Hmm. Subdued or self-assured? We'll go subdued. It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan? You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested. Maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Hmm. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. She looks like she's staring at an off monitor. So, alright, so that's all I've got time for today. We'll pick up next time right here. Thank you for joining me. Take care.